Phenomena The first time I lived through a paranormal phenomenon was at my home in Boston, back in 1970. It was on TV. We were all sitting in front of it, as usual, watching the news on the war, like always, but one thing was making of us get much sadder than the usual. We had just received a telegram from the Pentagon that day. The mailman, who for 20 years had been bringing us our mail, was coming down the street. His professional hands were all sweaty. He knew us very well. We always invited him over for Christmas and Thanksgiving. He always declined. Yet, he was. Always happy to service us by bringing us the news from far away relatives and friends. However, there was one thing that, Mr. Long, the postman, was very familiar with, delivering official telegrams from the Pentagon. That had become a very ordinary thing amongst American mailmen during the years of the Vietnam War. And the American mailman's life during those years of Vietnam War. Mr. Long got very sad every time he had to deliver one of those especially when it had to do with the life of a young man whom he saw growing up and whose family was always so kind with him. His footsteps seemed heavier as he approached our house. The noble postman couldn't read the content of the telegram, but he knew very well what it was about. My older brother had died in combat in a Vietnamese province near Laos, away from all of us. My mother and my sister were sitting on the couch hugging each other, while my father would remain standing, looking at the TV, as if he was trying to maintain his image of a strong figure instead of breaking down in tears. He was a 50-year-old man, raised in a time when self-discipline was the word of order and it was unconceivable for a man to cry. And I believe he was the one who missed my brother, Donnie, Donald Tamerson Jr., the most. He was his firstborn child, the one that was brought up to be very successful. When Donnie graduated from the U.S. Point, he started out as a lieutenant and went to Vietnam. Indeed, that was one of the few times I really saw my father happy. That never bothered me much, because dad would always pay attention to me as well. Nevertheless, Donnie outnumbered me by five years of dealing with our dad, which added to the other 16 years. So, they ended up having 21 years of a love story that was very well expressed. On my father's face, which always used to be so firm and strong. And I. Buy yours on Amazon to find out more.